When is the first time that you thought to yourself, either consciously or subconsciously, I am a leader? I'm leading people. I'm doing I've things always, that... I've always considered When did mine. it begin? I think it must have, you You're know... talking about running for office in school. Yeah, you know, it's running for office in school, the Boy Scouts, I mean, I, all of a sudden, you know, and plus I had a younger brother, mm -hmm. okay, and I was yeah. always... Leading you know, him. Leading him and everything, you know, and I'm always did thinking... You, did, I'm sure you did, but I have to ask you, did you feel responsible for him? I think I did. Yeah. I think I did. I mean... You know, I, I, my I, I come from a broken family. My father um, and my mother. You know, um, I, I, I guess I was impressed by both of them. Uh, my mother was a person who always was trying to better herself. My father wanted to better himself. He just couldn't get it together because you know was, it, he was frustrated as a, as a black man. Uh, but I remember my mother. You know, she was a beautician. My mother taught school for a while. She was just doing so, a lot of you know, you know. She was just doing, she did a lot, and I kind of take a lot of that after my mother. My mm -hmm. father was a person who was, had the anger. He mm -hmm. had the rage, you know. I mean, he was a, a battler. He would, yeah. you know, he would, you wouldn't cross Jimmy Lee, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know. And uh, so, uh, but uh, uh, I, I, I really just aspired to do more. Mm -hmm. Aspire to be more, aspire to have more of an impact, and I've, always, I've you know, and the challenge of leadership is something mm -hmm. I, you know, I, in the in the in the um, um, Boy Scouts and the Cub Scouts, I wanted to get those badges, I wanted mm -hmm. to get those honors, I wanted to make that kind of, you know, and I guess somehow I'm, I'm wired like that, man. I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. So for, <laughs> for, from your very early years, yeah. you thought that you sure. had something to offer other people, some some ability to give direction to people saying, in effect, follow me. Yeah. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, I'm gonna me. do it. I don't know whether or not I was saying follow me or but I knew I was gonna do yeah. it. And I knew that I you know I or, or, or watch my example, maybe watch my, watch, example, my example. watch my example. I'm gonna win this badge. Right. You can win it too. Sure. Yeah. You know what? I think that the thing that I had that, that maybe uh, other folks saw and maybe I didn't realize, but I had the courage to try, mm -hmm. you know, to aspire and to try. Not just to aspire, but the courage to try. Now who put try. that in you, your mom, your dad? I, I think that, I think I would have to give, I was my, my mother was more of a leadership person mm -hmm. for me than my father. Uh, my mother was trying things. She would always try different things. and. And so it had, my mother, you know, again, she left the South with five children mm -hmm. on her own, you yeah. know, and moved north, moved to Chicago. That took some courage, oh, man. Sure. You know, yeah. you know, and, uh, and so, uh, yeah, the courage to, 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 to act is, is, is something that she ingrained in me. And that's, mm -hmm. you know, I still have that, you know, that's, you know, that, I think that's such a big difference. Mm -hmm. There are people who are more, much more talented uh, even in my family, uh, who are, you know, better looking, but they don't, you know, they have what some of the mm -hmm. prerequisites, but they just don't have the courage to right. act. I got the courage to act, you know. Mm -hmm. I wasn't the best dancer mm -hmm. in the little group uh, in the neighborhood, but I would be the first or the second one on the floor, uh -huh. you know.